Prince. It's Friday. So, look, when it comes to your makeup bag, things are overflowing, right? With clumpy mascara, cakey foundation, and perhaps old lipstick. If you've got this, then you're like me. Our beauty expert, uh, expert Jen Fallick, is here, and she's going to help us figure out what to toss out and what we should keep and how to organize it all. Now, look, we've picked an audience member. This is Nancy, and Nancy was brave enough to bring us her makeup bag and show us exactly what she's got cooking inside. So, welcome to the show, girls. Thank, Thank you. Glad you're here. Jen, what's the first step in cleaning up our makeup bag? Face your makeup reality. You gotta open that bag up, you have to dump everything out and see what you have. Find a clean surface, unzip that zipper, and let's just let it all hang out. Okay, Nancy, what's the biggest problem that you have in your makeup bag? Well, I'm always in a rush, mm -hmm. and I throw everything in here, and I wanna take everything with me, and then when I open it, Things are falling out. I'm missing things. Yes. I can't find things, so I need help to get organized. That we can do. Well, all right. Well, let's get started. Just sure. dump everything out. Let's see okay. what you got. Wait until no, you see. Let's like brace uh -oh. ourselves here. Brace yourself. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Oh, we are alike. You've got makeup removers. Right. What is this? Cold medicine. I, I don't even think they make half this stuff anymore, uh, yeah. to be honest. Jen, Jen, tell us what yeah. needs to be thrown out. Oh, God, oh, girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Right? Where do I start? Let's like see. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, go well, ahead. Face makeup. Typically, like with a powder, it'll last you a good two years as long as you keep it nice and dry. Okay. But if we look in here... I mean, it's there's time nothing even in here though. anymore. This is your bronzer. That's yeah. my favorite. This is at, clearly it's your favorite. It's time for a new one. Yes. So this you would chop, and then the brush. This little brush looks very sad. It, it the works bristles well. are even, so you need something that has even bristles. So but it's it works really good. There's also a lot of bacteria probably in here, and with a concealer, something that's very liquidy. When you have water in a product, the bacteria is going to really fester. So something like this, I would say six months. You want to get rid months. of it. Let me ask you, going back to the brush, yeah. wouldn't a retractable brush be better? A retractable brush is great, but the truth is there's a lot of antibacterial brushes now, too. So right in the bristles is built in an antibacterial property, so they stay looks fresh like for a, longer. It looks, looks like a boxing promoter, right, Don <laughs> King? I know, it's a little sad. Okay, so, so um, the dates. So Mascara, three months. Look at this, clumpy. A lot of bacteria grows in here. You pump it. But it's hard to remember when you open something and when it's going to expire. Okay. So we've got these for you. <gasps> these are great! Beauty alert. How cool are these? They're stickers, you guys. They're That's stickers. You can get these at Nordstrom. You put on the date that you open a product, just write it down, and then you stick it on the product, and you'll know three months, six months, whatever it is, so when it's time to so talk it. you get it instead of when you buy it, when you, not from the store, as soon as when you, you open, open it up. It. Yeah. yeah. So that's where when you activate the product. That's okay. absolutely perfect. One thing about mascara, do you pump or do you dig? Because I'm not a pumper, I'm a digger. I dig. So that's good. You should dig. Dig, dig don't pump. Because when you have, you're putting air in there and it's bacteria. And also if you have like an eye infection or anything, get rid of your mascara after Okay, that. so let's move along. Yeah. Because I want you to show us exactly what we should have in our makeup bags. These are the items that, that will serve us well every day. Exactly. Okay. We pare it down to the essentials. First step, a primer. I love this one. This is from Fusion Beauty. Okay. This is going to be anti redness. I know you have some sensitive skin, so this is great. It's going to make your foundation last long, so that's a perfect first step uh -huh. to get that one pumping in there. It's just nice and smooth. Okay, and well then, you keep talking. <laughs> yeah, right. you keep working over there. And then a foundation. Right. I love this one. This is L'Oreal Paris Visible Lift. It's great because it lasts a long time, and you don't need to use that much. Put the primer on, then put this on after it, and it's clear so you can see how much you have. So that, I'm putting these in the That's always you. good. Okay, the primer and the foundation. Now, what is this? Because this looks like blush for a white woman. This blush is for Not every a brown woman. Girl. It goes on every skin tone. It's from Stila. It's custom color. So on you, it'll probably be like a corally color. On me, it's a bright pink. On you, probably more of a mauvey really? pink. Apply this throughout the day. You can do it with your fingers, oh, so it's wow. good for on the go. This is a great all-purpose year-round really blush. Nice. And it is a different color on me yeah, than on you. Yeah, look at oh that. Oh my gosh, it's pH good. adjust. Kind of cool, oh, right? Wow. Okay. And then we've got obviously you need your eyeshadow. So I'm gonna stick this in here. Okay. I love this. This is Jane Iredale Eye Stack. That's good. Isn't this cool? It's all stacked. It's for brown eyes. This is your oh, color. Brown eyes. You can use this as a liner. Just even dip like a Q-tip in some oh, water yes. and make that into a liner. You've got all your colors. One little package. Dump that in. Jen, that's good. You need a mascara. Yeah. I love this one. This is Peter Thomas Roth Lashes yes. to Die For because yes. it lengthens and it volumizes. Uh -huh. When something runs out in three months, you may as well be able to use it for everything. You don't need two formulas. So mascara, throw it out after three months. Three even months. If it's, no, even if it's not all used up. Now, what is this? I love this. This is a yes. NARS. This is a lipstick. Uh -huh. Women, we all have like a million lipsticks and glosses. Mm -hmm. They're good for two years max. Probably a lot less because we carry it everywhere. This good, skinny, easy to put on, small to fit in your makeup bag. Once Neutral you find the lipstick color. color that works for you, 
stick with it. You don't need a million colors and glosses. Either put on one coat, put on three coats, you're going to get the color you want every time. So just use that color and you don't need anything else, no glosses or anything. You don't need anything else. And look at this. Look at how nicely edited this is. I love it. Nancy, Nancy, can we stay organized here? Jen Fallis, thank you so much for being here. Nancy, you're going home with a brand new makeup thank bag. Thank you so much. Put your makeup essentials thank in it. You. For more information about these tips, log on to wendyshow.com. Everybody keep it here. Ask Wendy is next. That was good.